Okay guys, as promised, this is the assembler and um, we are going to start running this one over here. Uh, before, let me go over here to Siemen Tia Portal uh, version 16 and start the production cycle. Uh, this is controlled by my master. Uh, master OB is the one responsible. I use a, a, a pulse timer just to run the sequence for 20 minutes only. So I'm gonna go ahead and modify this and, and control F2 to one, all right? Over here, over there, I'm going to, uh, as you know, let me show you the driver. I'm using PLC SIM as my driver. This is my PLC with my inputs and outputs and my word bits. These are uh, double integers uh, tags. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start the simulation and see how it runs. Okay, let's go. All right, let's go ahead and put the PLC in ROM mode and Go ahead and put the uh, my factory I/O in run also. Over here, I'm gonna go to my master. I already did this, but let's do it again because I recycled the PLC from off to on. So I'm gonna put it in on right now, and the uh, factory I/O should start right now. Okay guys, let me put it on pause and show you the code. Uh, the code, it's composed of OB, organization of blocks. Uh, my main over here, this is what controls the factory I.O. This block has to be here all the time, otherwise factory I.O. would not work. Uh, here I got my function block, the main. This is if I double click on it, I will bring, uh, I'm gonna be bring, uh, bring up the uh, page that shows where my uh, function blocks are. I got two function blocks uh, right now laid off here. Uh, this is for conveyor for the lids and conveyor for the bases. If I double click in it, I am bringing, uh, I'm gonna bring up the code, uh, ladder logic code that controls uh, both conveyors. This is exactly the same. You only write one piece of code for one function block, which is this one over here. Uh, this function block is the one that you uh, write uh, and then use it all over again, over and over and over again on all the conveyors on your shop, on your factory. So this is the piece of code that it run, that runs. Uh, only three, uh, four networks. Uh, when I, 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 if I got machine ready and the start button is pressed, first I'm going to make sure that the photo eye is not seeing anything and then I will uh, jump to step number two 
over here, then uh, at the, this photo eye, then it must be looking at a, a palette in order to continue. If not, the conveyor keeps running and running and running until a product comes up and blocks uh, the photo eyes. That's when I, I shut off the contactor and the conveyor start it stops. And then I restart my start button and then set my done bit because this is the one I need on other subroutine to find out when this piece of block has already been run. Over here, I'm resetting everything and then counting just to make sure that that block of code, that piece of code, ran at least uh, once or twice. All right, over here, I got my uh, mapping I.O. As you know, I don't like to work with uh, normally, normally closed uh, sensors in the field. Uh, in my code, I mean in the field, yes, of course, uh, normally closed are important. But in my code, I prefer to convert it to normally open. So this is what I do this. I call it I.O. mapping block. This is one part of my, my OB. And the master one, you already saw this one. This one, when I activate this bit, I get a pulse timer. Yeah, as you can see, the bit is no longer activated, but the pulse timer is running. This is the beauty of this uh, instruction. It's called the pulse timer. Uh, I only need one activation, and then the pulse timer keeps running and running and running for 20 minutes. Then, once that 20 minutes is over, uh, this block of code is uh, deactivated. All right, guys, uh, this is it. This is the entire code. Um, did I show you the master? Mm, yeah, perfect. So this is the entire code. Uh, next time we're gonna do, I'm gonna be doing the other scene that we talk about. And now, you know, I'm gonna, uh, for this one specifically, I'm gonna put it uh, below on my day this uh, link. So you can download this code and test it for yourself. All right, thank you very much. Ciao, ciao.